National Signing Day is here, and student athletes from across the PD and Grand Strand signing their letters of intent today, revealing where they will be taking their talents to come next fall. The most anticipated signing of the afternoon came from Saucesty High School. Three-star recruit Kenny Solomon had numerous of D1 offers on the table and decided to take his talents to the SEC as a Tennessee Vol. Tennessee is a place to be his home, his home away from home, and and, it, and my family loved the place, I love the place, and I feel like that's the best option for me and, and my, my football career and education. At West Florence, wide receiver Kevin Wells is heading to Erskine College, while Malik Samuel and Sharon Simmon also signing to play football at the next level. All zone quarterback Cooper Wallace is headed south to play for the Citadel. This is where I've always wanted to go, and uh, the coaches made it feel like home. It was a great official visit, and uh, so that's where I'm. Up. Rounding out the night signees is kicker Michael Hayes joining the Sun Belt to play for Georgia State. He gives all thanks to his family for his chance to play at the next level. My parents, you know, biggest support system I've ever had. They've sacrificed a lot Sun on Sundays, you know, Sunday, Saturdays, the, their weekends, you know, their free time to get me to go to combines, go to camps, go to my kicking coach Dan Orner in Charlotte. Um, that's just a big deal for me. South Florence, Dylan Truslow and Eric Robinson each signing with Erskine, while fellow teammate and defensive lineman Michael Mason announced he will be suiting up for the black and gold at Wofford College. It really just felt great. Uh, off the words. I'm very thankful I've got a chance to play for college level. At Wilson, Brittany Senke becomes the first volleyball player to sign to play collegiately. She'll play at Francis Marion. From the football program, utility player Jamaris Davis is going to Tennessee Valley Prep, while defensive end Jeremy Roberts and Jamari Smith are headed to Erskine. From Hartsville, golfer Mackenzie Bizell is off to Spartanburg Methodist. Trevor Gerard headed to Erskine to play golf. Caleb Caldwell is joining the soccer program at Newbury College. Brittany Cuthren will play softball at USC Sumter. Offensive lineman Matt Cranford headed to Clemson as a preferred walk-on. Also representing Hartsville football, two-time all-zoner Curtis Thompson, who is headed to Wingate University. And I just want to thank God for letting me be able to play the game I love on the next level. So many people don't get this opportunity, so I'm blessed to be able to have this opportunity. Rounding out the Hartsville signees is Tyon Evans, who will be heading to Hutchinson Community College in Kansas. I mean, it feels amazing to be able to further my career. I look forward to go to Hutchinson, play two years, hopefully come back home somewhere like USC, Florida, Clemson, somewhere like that. Over at Myrtle Beach, Salim Session signed with Kentucky Christian University. Colby Williams signed with Concordia, Wisconsin. Will Walton is headed to Independence Community College. And joining Walton in Kansas will be receiver Marcus Grissett. While receiver Jerron Finkley is also headed to Kansas, he'll play for Hutchinson Community College. I just want to go there, do what I have to do, work hard, help Hutch as much as I can and then go to the next four year Division One college. It's just a, it's a real blessing. Uh, I just wanted this my whole life really. Uh, just real thankful that God gave me this opportunity to do this. The tradition continues at Marlboro County as head coach Dean Boyne sends off his 141st player to the next level. Elijah Blair announcing he is headed to Newberry College. Uh, it felt like home, you know, after you visit so many schools, you know, you felt differently about going to that school and I felt like I would fit in at Newberry the most. Xavier Lee Gett has been a future Gamecock since December, but made it official this morning in front of friends and family. The four-star recruit is excited to be close to home and play at williams Bryce Stadium. Just for the environment and the way how the coaches, they are very straight up. They don't take no pity on anyone, and I need that encouragement. Reporting on National Signing Day, I'm Casey Hintz, ABC 15 Sports.